medical skills. Um, if you have not met me, I am Miss Matthews, and I look forward to meeting every single one of you. Um, I'm sorry I'm not there. I am off doing some training, but I hope to be back in class soon. So, without further ado, let's do our 24-hour clock lecture. We are going to be studying the 24-hour clock. We are learning how to read the 24-hour clock. We usually, the history of 24 hour of timekeeping. First, back in the ancient Egypt, they were the first ones to start keeping records and the first one to actually want to keep track of time so they are able to notate their records. Their system, including using the sunlight, and they were the first one to divide it into 24 hours. And First, initially, they started dividing it into 10 hours, and then two hours for each twilight hour. Hour, not house. I'll correct that, that's hour. So, for midnight, that was considered twilight, and for noon, it was considered twilight. Their method is used shadow clock, depending on where the shadow is, what the time it was. They also kept track of the constellations and see how long it would take for the whole world, for the Earth to orbit around the constellation. This is the modern day shadow clock. It's called the sundial. It is pretty neat. I've seen one in bush gardens and they actually made a sundial out of, I think, begonias, which is actually a vine. And they made a tall begonia and then around it, they surrounded it with rocks for each hour. And it's still very current. It still can be used. It's not ancient. It's still current. But if you want to know the exact precise minute, it's not going to be accurate in those terms. There are 24. So everybody knows there are 24 hours in the day. The first 12 hours of the day are from, from midnight to midday. The second half, in, in the 12 hour, sorry, in the 12 hour time, we count from midnight to midday, and then we count from midday to midnight. I think that everybody knows this. So you count the hours in the day. If you count 12 plus 12, it's going to be 24. So from in a 24 hour time, we also call it military time, we count from 1 all the way to 24. We don't use AM or PM in 24 hour clocks. This is used to make it standard for everybody, especially anybody in the medical profession, in the military, in the scientific um, community, we use 24 hours. There, that way, there's less confusion, especially for those explorers who are like in Alaska, North Pole, South Pole, where their hours extend, like they have more extended daylight. They can't assume that it's, if they say nine, 900, you know it's 9 a.m., not 9, versus 9 a.m., 9 p.m. So they, are, they have a harder time keeping track of the day because of their extended days and or extended nights depending on the season. For p.m. times we keep counting to 24 so after after 12 at 1 p.m. is 1300 at 2 p.m. is 1400 3 p.m. is 1500 4 p.m. 1600 5 p.m. 1700 6 p.m. 1800 7 p.m. 1900, 8 p.m. 2000, 20, 9 p.m. 2100, 10 p.m. 22, 11 p.m. 23, 20, and then at midnight it could be written at 24 or it goes back to and it resets again to 000, 100. 
So pay attention at the midnight because that is going to mess you up. At midnight, instead of 2400, it's going to reset for the new day to 100. Why? Because at midnight is the beginning of the new day. We have counted a full 24 hours, the day is over, so we start counting again from zero. So, and then the new day starts from zero to 24. And the minutes, let's not forget about the minutes. In a 24 hour time, the minutes don't change. So 1.15 a.m. is gonna be 1.15. 2.45 a.m. is gonna be 2.45. 6.24 p.m. is 18.24. 8.30 p.m. is 20.30. See how this is a little bit easier to understand to make it more consistent for everybody? 10.45 a.m. is going to be 10.45. 11.35 is going to be 23.35. At noon and midnight. At noon, it will be 1,200. At midnight, is going to be 100. So at 12:15 p.m. it's going to be 12:15. 12:30 p.m. it's going to be 12:30 in military time. In 12:45 it's going to be 12:45. Now if we flip over on the other side, on the opposite side, we'll see to 12:15 a.m. 0:15. 12:30 it will be 30. 1245, 45. 1250, it'll be 50. 1210 a.m., it'll be 10. We kind of drop, make it 100, and then you put the minutes at the end. Pay attention to that. And that is it. And I hope you all have a good day and have fun in class.